After an undergraduate degree at Holy Cross, I got my PhD in cell and molecular biology at Tufts University School of Medicine. Um, I then did my postdoctoral fellowship at the National Cancer Institute in Bethesda. And what I found about academic science is that while I really enjoyed the reading and writing of science, the hands-on lab work is a little bit reductionist. Uh, I was named as an inventor on some IP, uh, a patent application that issued as a patent when I was uh, still a graduate student. Uh, and then uh, I pursued that as a career uh, after my postdoctoral fellowship, so I went to Suffolk Law at night while working at Mintz Levin during the day as a patent agent. The function of an IP counsel is to provide business guidance that has a legal component, specifically around IP, uh, intellectual property, which comprises patents, which get all the glory, trademarks, uh, trade secrets, and then, of course, copyrights, which I assume this will be your copyright. Right. Um, and so uh, MPM, as an early stage life science investor, needs to understand what the competitive advantage that can be held by the companies into which it invests. We are also active in the uh, aspect of investing called venture creation, where our executive partners do the innovation internally, uh, build consensus with key opinion leaders in academic centers, uh, and then launch the company at MPM. I do all of the early IP diligence, making sure, uh, because a patent gives you only one thing, the right to exclude others that will be able to get patents and exclude our competition, uh, as well as to make sure that we're free of others' patents, such that we don't go to commercialize and then find that there's a patent owned by a third party that's a barrier to entry in the market.